Hi Larissa, Daphne here. Thank you for um, your next essays. I'm a bit confused by your question. Um, I understand you want more feedback on the essays, not the task one. Uh, I think your task one was pretty solid, wasn't it? Um, but I can't change what's here. I can't just give you only task two, so I'm not allowed to do that. I'm really sorry. You'd have to talk to Ben. Um, but basically the deal is that every time you send me two and then I send you the next two and so we go through. You obviously don't have to do the task ones if you don't want to, that's absolutely not a problem, but I can't replace them with task twos. Um, but basically just let's keep going on these. I mean, I, I can check that for you, but I, I don't, so I'm not going to promise that that's possible. Um, but let me check these through for you and let's just go through them. Um, I mean, I can see quite a few things here that you do need to try and think about. Uh, you do need to try and get your word count higher um, because that is, honestly, in terms of developing the essay, you're going to need to get to 300 words, definitely. It's really hard to develop an essay um, in less than that. So problems with pollution are becoming worse. What are the reasons? Okay, so what are the reasons and how could it be solved? So let's look at this. You're doing problem, solution, problem, solution. Okay, the issue of pollution has grown in importance nowadays. I mean, okay, but why? Because, da, 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 da. So if you're going to kind of push towards your band 7 and definitely your 6.5. You need to be really developing this. The issue of pollution has grown in importance nowadays because, yeah, uh, overcrowding in cities, the huge growth of factories, uh, the growth in the population, um, the problems with climate change, I mean, all sorts of things, but you need to give something here. The effects of human irresponsible way of production, such as global warming and diseases related to air pollution have been felt all over the world. Okay, so because a little bit there, the effects of human, uh, humans, irresponsible way of production, um, production uh, now humans we uh, would be careful here it's not the you can't have such as you need to have which has has increased yeah or which has resulted in that would be better global warming and disease related air pollution have been felt very nice all over the world uh, this essay will explore how consumerism of transport in big cities affect this issue and what could be done to address their impacts. Okay, make sure we're going to connect this to pollution. Reckless consumerism, uh, manipulative marketing. Now, okay, overproduction of goods. Uh, this consumerism not only causes air and water pollution during manufacturing, but also creates waste disposal issues. Okay, really interesting. Good point. Um, um, yeah, really very critical here. I mean, I'm a little bit cautious because you're using very strong language and you've really got to make sure you're talking about pollution in large cities, not criticising manufacturing, okay? Um, air water pollution during manufacturing, but also, yeah. Uh, overproduction of goods. And many factories have are still located near to large cities, uh, leading to toxic waste and um, toxic waste and um, effluent something like that that's the waste water because this consumerism so i would not put consumerism in here um this increase this intense production because it's the production really that's causing the pollution consumerism yes it is but in a, in a less in less direct way i think you're better arguing for the factories here not only causes um, so I would think you should put that in there to develop that area and then this follows on from there. Okay, to solve this issue, it's essential to inform population about the impact of their shopping choices and tax industries. Okay, <clears throat> yep, absolutely. And then you could have here, for example, 
yeah and you need an example here you could talk about a place where uh, there has been a tax and it's been much more successful okay uh, i would personally rather talk about relocating factories outside of a town i think that will have a better impact uh, just slightly be more connected i'm worried you're going in a bit heavy on the consumerism okay um so don't have here firstly i think we had this problem in your last essay firstly you haven't got secondly yeah so here you could have it has been said that 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 is a sort of more subtle more academic start to the paragraph okay so you could start like that and then here you could have additionally or furthermore transport is the second biggest cause being responsible um for a third of carbon dioxide. said yep good according to an article very nice many actions are already being taken you can have to reduce its impact such as investment in electric cars and charging passengers for their carbon footprint to drive consumer choices towards less impactful um, choices good and to raise funds to invest in more sustainable options very nice well done great run there good uh, for instance New Zealand government, so it's specific, the New Zealand government is not only offering a subsidy um, to help help anyone who you have to have wants to buy an electric car, but also charging all public vehicles, changing, sorry, yes, very nice, lovely. So that works really, really well here. Good paragraph, super. To summarise, the governments of each country play an extremely important role, yep. Um, by funding programs, good in general. Re in general, regarding its consuming, its consuming choice effect, its consumers' choice effects. So consumers' choice, not choices, just choice effects. To raise awareness, taxing resource practices and acting to improve their own impact. Absolutely, really, really nice. So it's so much good stuff in there. Okay. Um, if you added in those little bits, you just get your word count up a tiny bit and you would just develop it a little bit more. Um, but do you know, I think you've done a really, really good job there. Uh, this paragraph, I'm just wasn't sure about the direction of it. Um, I would pull that back um, towards factories, but really, I like that. You've done a very, very good job there. Okay. Uh, the graph shows, so how much, what are we doing here on the word count? Whoa, hang on. Oh, here we go. That's better. I was thinking that's a bit short. Okay. Yeah, all right. Number of car sales. Yeah. Overall snow spill, BMW, was. Um, be careful here. I, I, I think we may have had this last time. Past tense, was. Audi did not seem to have higher sales. Yeah, Ford was. Okay, sales were practically identical. So this is really important. When you look at it, immediately think, okay, what's the date? In the past, past tense. Okay, you might have a bit of present tense, like here, but basically you're going to be in the past tense. Um, Belgium and Italy. So the cons um, so consumers, or car consumers, purchases maybe in trended. Oh, so the trend. Sorry, sorry, the trend among car purchases. Yeah, you can't really have it that way. You'd have to have it as an apostrophe S, but it's the people, not the actual place. Contrast and others, having one preferred brand that hugely stands out. Very nice, good. Uh, rather than hugely, I would put significantly dominates, dominated, maybe that sort of higher level language there. Um, BMW overall sales in all countries varied around 100,000, yep. Okay, add it. Yep, good, very nice. I mean, you, you're very, you know what you're doing here. At last, um, I wouldn't have at last. I would put here. Um, I don't think you really need to put anything. You could put notably if you wanted to, um, but it, we don't really need many connecting words here. But I do like um, in contrast. And the other ones are like a while and whereas. I don't know if you've got those in there, but a while and whereas are also really good. Uh, followed by France, yeah, respectively. In contrast, okay, so what do you have for the tense? 
and mix it up a bit. Don't always just put the country first. Think about this idea, car purchases, yeah? So uh, car purchases, consumers, Belgian drivers, yeah? Remember it's language, so we really need to show as much language as we can. Okay, but two good tasks here. Well done, Larissa. 